All right, so we're in post show now. You missed all the good stuff. Sorry. Yeah, well, you you're not even on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're, you're gonna. Mean. I don't know what you're t- telling anyone. They're watching it on fucking YouTube, anyways. Whatever. So, <laughs> the first thing we wanted to talk about tonight is uh, I wanted to discuss woo at work stuff. So it came up today that <laughs> uh, I, we had a career fair at the university where I work, and one of the vendors was a science university. I'm not going to name the university, but it was this. Science University. It was another university advertising at your university? Trying to get our students to come to them for graduate school. Oh, graduate. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't have a grad school? No, we do. We have have many, but they always do that. We go to other schools and try to get their students. It's uh, This is a a good point for people who are thinking of going going to grad school. Don't go to the same grad school that you went to undergrad. Go to a different school. Why? Because if your school implodes, you don't want to have two useless degrees. Mm -hmm. You want to have... You know, oh, does A and M gonna implode anytime soon? They've been around. For the a while. some of the satellites might. Oh. You never know. But still, it's a degree yeah, you from A and M. Have though. your degree. So, so, like, my dad went to Villanova, and when my dad went to Villanova, it was a shit school, and now it's an awesome school. So, yeah. like, his degree is worth a lot, and he went there. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> uh, but so that can happen in reverse, where you go to a school and then suddenly there there's a scandal or this sounds like a problem with hiring practices. <laughs> Maybe no, it so, sounds like a problem I don't have to worry about with A and M because even if it, you went to a satellite school, it's still an A and M degree. Yeah. No, no, that, no, not necessarily. Oh, so you should just tell people I went to A and M. They just don't question it. A, yeah. lo- a lot of people try and do that. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. Well, I mean, most people that aren't from around here, if they're like, oh, yeah, I went to A&M. They're like, oh, cool, A&M. Or I don't sound like Corpus Christi. You know, like I just, A&M, that's it. Okay. So at this particular school was there specifically to hire people into their, or hire people, uh, attract students to go to, to obtain a master of science degree in fucking acupuncture that's what they were here for uh, yeah exactly there are face microphone <laughs> i saw that and i was like can i take a picture of this so i can send it to my friends without them thinking i'm messing with them and i i, I managed to do it i just don't so beyond that, though, our university, which I will not name, also had a Reiki program. I, say, I don't even know what that is. What What is Reiki or Reiki? Or... Reiki is where energy, like you don't touch people and you it does You manipulate stuff. their energy. Right. So like pain, you can find where the energy is and sweep it off the body. So it's like chiropractic, but you're not touching them? <laughs> you don't have to. You're not actually... <laughs> Doing anything? You're just brushing their energy. People think that works. Well, I mean, oh, yeah. I, I know people. They think it works at long yeah. distance. People will pay people for Reiki Skype? from different like, like states Sc- and shit. Skype Reiki? Are you serious? Yeah, no, serious. Oh, get the fuck out! I've never heard of this. <laughs> what? Yeah, no. There's... In in my university's defense, and my university is a very good university, uh, I finally had the person who was in charge of that program in my office one time. I was like, I'm because I'd seen like the emails coming through. Oh, you know, refer people to this Reiki program. And they're like, and I said, I found it very interesting that you're offering Reiki as a thing. And they're like, yeah, no one wants that. No one, <laughs> no one does it. It's the class We haven't had one person in that class in a long time. I was like, okay, good. I so feel why so do they better. even like offer, offered or advertise for it? Money. But, Obviously, not making any money. Making Nobody's any going money. to that it's, class. It's not. It's not an official class. It's a, a continuing education class. So it's like you would come take that if you're a member of the community. You were interested in it. It's not like part of a degree program. Well, there's that. So. So it's like the anime no, club. No, 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 no. I mean, they continuing education type stuff. Yeah. So I mean, they adult, have like, adult education right. programs. So you can take like a, a Microsoft Word class if you want right. to. Or a Reiki class, which they've stopped advertising. But at the time, I was every time I saw it come across my email box, I was just face bombing, like, "Oh my god, we're a university. Why are we doing this?" But apparently, no one, no one takes it because 
We're too smart. Well, I, I would assume most Reiki individuals that like that when it, they'd be like yeah no university offers it because it's not mainstream enough so i would assume they wouldn't even like look to a university for it they wouldn't be going there yeah, they'd probably go to like some lady's house or something somewhere some lady's house or something. <laughs> that's what i do so i'm trying to figure out like well what, you know there's a little thing in our backyard or something what you know. extra like two to three years of schooling in acupuncture does one go through to get a master's in acupuncture is it like, is it how to poke somebody and not have them feel it or bleed? Like, you have to do both to get your master's? Right. It's a travel I, I feel to like China. the first year is just theory and doing cross point. And <laughs> the, the second year is ding, 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 putting the little needle in. And then if they bleed, you're, you're, you fail. Right. For sure, that's what it is. <laughs> and and I, I feel like your last semester has to be... How do you tell people who know this doesn't do shit? How do you deflect their bullshit? Acupuncture is like, well, it's kind of a weird thing for me because I, I have fibromyalgia and acupuncture may be helpful if it's the one that with the electric, the electrodes. So where, they, electric, where, they, where they put they, you, you get pins them, in the you. Pins you and then they connect. And them. then they electrocute you. <laughs> I'm not being smart. No, that, that was, well, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it sends pulses. Right. It's like it's but like a, a but that's like to exercise the muscle, though. But, right. Yeah. So they couldn't they uh, achieve the same thing with a diode on your skin? You would think so. Yeah. <laughs> but so it's I don't not, know. It's but like you know what I mean? Like that's the that's the only research area where they may find something. Right. Unless there's like but, drugs and then it doesn't at the end need of to, the needles. I don't think it needs to be acupuncture, though. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know that's. Another thing that we have graduate school fairs where it's just literally like 40 or 50 graduate schools from around Texas and the United States and the world really that come in and try and get our students to come to their graduate programs. We have at least two chiropractor uh, organizations that come to recruit our students. Don't you guys have to like filter them out based on like if they're accredited or anything? Mm -hmm. Nope. Well, oh. but if the they're thing, gonna pay the fee, they can come in and. So I can go there and be like, "Hey, who wants to get you know a master's degree in sexual and healing? <laughs> you know, from Red Spence's <laughs> houses." I mean, like it's amazing. <laughs> we, need, we need to we need to crowdsource that. <laughs> I know. Um, I know a creationist. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who teaches science? Oh my Wait, god! A creationist who teaches science who. Um, hates that google stopped weren't you being able to find bullets so easy and um, find what so easy uh, like they did something to their algorithm where you can shop for gun stuff or something oh really i didn't oh. know that um and uh he, he's gonna say uh uh totally for yoga yoga is the best thing and his brother's a chiro big chiro chiropractor and makes shitload of money well yoga's we have weird yeah. people here <laughs> Well, I was gonna mention like Reb, like there are like chiropractic can be accredited, even though it doesn't yeah. do anything. Like, unfortunately, it is accepted and accredited. It so doesn't do nothing. So it's like a degree in English. Oh, oh. Boo. <laughs> boo! So, chiropractic, you are correct, does not do nothing. There is one there's a one. limited yeah. segment of what they do that actually accomplishes a thing, which. <laughs> Like if, acupuncture. Which, right. If you just go to a doctor, they'll do the exact, exact same, same thing, thing if yeah. you tell them what's going on. And it's as good as doing exercise. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, Unless it's jerking off in my car. <laughs> I'm not getting the exercise. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Just, uh, we we could never show our faces in public after this, this last episode, just so you guys know. Like, we could never go anywhere. We go to an atheist conference, like, oh, y'all are guys that masturbate in your car. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys are the car We're going to get a huge following because everyone's going to admit to it. Right? Uh, this is going to be like the coming out party. It's like, oh, yeah, we all masturbate in cars. I've wondered about it. It's, that's one of those things I think about now. It's just because drones are becoming a thing. I mean, do you want to be masturbating in your car with drones flying? Not, a, not if they have Hellfire missiles. No. Right, if they have drones, like now you can't masturbate in your backyard without wondering right. if the government's looking at you. <laughs> or or wouldn't work. that be a great job to be the, the government drone guy looking for people masturbating in the I really don't care who watches me masturbate. That's Does it turn you on? 
I really don't care. <laughs> it's just like, like you have no opinion. It's like if I'm already masturbating. He doesn't masturbating. like people anyway. He right. doesn't care what they do. Right. <laughs> so, like, I mean, I will take the necessary precautions to not get seen. Right. Like, I don't leave my windows you're not open. An, and, you're like, not an exhibitionist. The door. Right. But, I mean, like, if somebody's got, like, if some peeping Tom or... I can't think of a female name that starts with a Jane. Jane. If some, if some peeping Jane, a peeping peep, Leslie, a peeping, <laughs> uh, a peeping Penny. What if Tom is a woman? Touche. If if they want to like you know peek in around the edges of my window or whatever, I'm, I don't care. Whatever. I don't know. I I feel like hey, get off my property. Like you're like peeking it in through my window. Like so I that s- would be more freaky to me than them like watching me masturbate. Like right. right. Oh, hey, we actually have a relevant uh, chat room comment. <laughs> no one is going to want to shake your hands. I I will shake all of your hands. I'll just say that I've right seen now. the oh, inside of your car. Oh, sorry. It's wet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've, I think I said on the show last week, I mean, it might have been post-show, that I've never understood, well, not never, but as an adult outside of Christianity, I've never understood why people are afraid of photons bouncing off your genitals and landing on people's retinas. That doesn't bother me. I was at the Corpus Christi meet Corpus Christi atheist meetup uh, last Sunday. And I was in the restroom of um, executive surf club. And there are three urinals. Uh, So I, I walked in and I took the far right one. And a guy came in behind me while I'm peeing. I mean, not behind me, but it, like, <laughs> he came in and he took the far left one. But then, like, we're sitting there and he reaches into his back pocket. He pulls out his phone, turns it to the side, and takes a picture of me peeing. Oh, what? Yeah. What? I was like, what is going on here? What the fuck is that? And I was like, I looked at him and I was like, all right. <laughs> Like Whatever, you should ask permission for. Right. I'm gonna let that one slide. That, you should ask permission. That's really creepy. So I, you should let me chub it up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> this is. A, you're not gonna post this on the internet, Unless right? Unless it was a selfie. Uh, <laughs> he might have been doing been. like a bathroom it selfie. It could have been. Oh. It could have been. I don't know, but it's like that's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me in a bathroom. I think. Let me think. Who does? Yeah. Well, Who, I thought. Didn't you just have? What was the bathroom thing? Someone taking a shit. You've had weird bathroom things happen recently. Oh, oh, with the guy at uh, uh, the karaoke that was like, okay. oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This demon out. get out of my body. Yeah, he was in the stall. He was taking a crap. I mean, you knew he was taking a crap because the it, the stench in that room was awful. And he was like screaming in the stall, get out of my body. Yeah, it's, I've had some weird bathroom experiences lately. It's weird. And all associated with CCA meetups. So I don't know. <laughs> hmm. All right, so Leslie, you wanted to talk about the Christian party cheating thing. I have no idea about what uh, the hell you're talking about. So, they, there's a Christian party. It's a, a political, political party. party. Mm-hmm. Uh, his name is Daryl Trigg. is the sole candidate for the Christian party. Has been charged with stalking his ex-wife. But um, he seems like you would know where your wife is. He um, wants to eradicate separation of church and state, bring mandatory prayer back. Um, <laughs> mandatory? When do we have mandatory we have prayer? prayer? I don't know. Stop any legal recognition of homosexual sexuality. Increase the drinking age to twenty five and ban what? nudity and ban language on television. He ban said, what on television? He said, language and nudity. Language. Wow. Bad language. Uh, marriage will be defined as the union of one man and one woman. The legal age for marriage will be 22. A couple. Wow. They have to do the Christian marriage counseling classes. Divorce will only be allowed in case of abuse, infidelity, or incarceration. Penalties for abuse and infidelity will include large fines and jail time. Married couples who become pregnant must attend Christian parenting classes. Well, at least he has all his you know, points. But he got down. divorced in 2013. And didn't include it in his biography. Um, of course not. Irreconcilable differences. Of course. <laughs> but yeah, so this butt is... stuff. She wouldn't do the butt stuff. That's what. <laughs> that's what that means. No matter what I did, I couldn't convince her. <laughs> <laughs> but um, every uh, the Christian party, yay! So uh, every time she leaves and goes out of t- town, her neighbors inform her that he shows up there every day. Wow. Yeah, I'm. I'm about to. I'm about to. Rev. He hasn't. He has not filed the official.